Okay, welcome to the tutorial. We're going to guide you through on setting up C++ and compiling your first bot. Now, in order to do this, you need to download the C++ package from uhackit.net. Now, assuming you've already done this, um, you need to extract the folder. Then you're going to come to your C++ folder. So, at this point, you will have these folders in front of you. Now you have your C++, this is your bot, your SDK files, your serial for your C++, and the service pack 6. Now it's important that you in un install these in the correct manner. So you need to install C++ first, then the service pack, and then SDK. Once you've done that, we're going to set it up. So go to Microsoft Visual C++ and start it up for the first time. Now here we're going to add the SDK files uh, that you've just installed. And to do this we'll go to Tools and Options. Now in this field as you can see you've got many tabs. We're going to go to Directories and as you see we've already got three already installed and these are standard ones. Now to install the SDK ones click underneath the last one like so and browse to the folder now the folder will usually be lo located on your C drive so go to, click C program files and there it is Microsoft platform SDK that's the first one we're going to add now after that we need to add another three and these are your bin include and lib files so we're going to do this in the same manner click on BIM and once again the same for include and again the same for your LIB directory now once you've done this it's important again that these are in the correct order so we're going to move these to the top so SDK should be at the very top bin should be the second from the top include should be third from the top and LIB should be the fourth from the top so once you finish you should have something that looks like this ok click ok and close this down now at this point we're now ready to actually start compiling so if you go to your bot folder now in here you'll see many files uh, it's good to familiarize yourself with these especially if this is your first time now the .cpp files these are actually source files and the .h these are headers a lot of them are mainly self-explanatory you have your functions keylogger here and auto start etc now the one we need and most bot files are generally the same and you should always find a .dsw folder in here so we're going to open this and as, you, as you can see we come straight to the config file now not always will this happen sometimes you will actually have to search for your config file so if you do if you scroll down you will always see your under headers and there's the config you double click on that and then this will appear now if everything in here is pretty much standard and doesn't need to be altered in any way the only things you need to order are the port number for your server the password this is how you log into your bot and the server now the server can be an IP, uh, it can also be a domain name, for example. Um, then you need to edit the channel names to where you want your bot to join and where you want your bot to send messages. And this is the password for the actual channel itself in order for your bot to join pretty straightforward stuff um, also I would advise on your auto 
always to have a wild card. Some you will see a uh, wild card at that symbol and then another wild card. Now on some platforms this can cause problems so I always see it best just to place a wild card there. Saves a lot of confusion. Make sure that you're up and running first time. Now once you've done that all you need to do is save up to your bot files always make sure you do a clean selection sometimes you might already have an old DXE there this will delete that and replace it with uh, the one that you've just configured or we'll also upload any changes uh, to the bot now at this point you click build and under here you will get several messages and at the end you will be told that your exe is complete at this point you can close and then you come back to your original folder and you'll see in your debug folder and there is your exe hope this tutorial helped and there'll be more coming soon thank you